the smell on this, bro. Smell my finger. That's disgusting. <laughs> my name is Jade. I'm from Compton. I used to be a stripper, but now I'm a nurse, a sexy nurse, honey. I love to cook. Love, love, love to cook. We should, like, erupt something in you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm from Orange County, California, and I'm a college student and a sorority girl. I really like to bake really fun, exotic cakes. I know that my competition is going to be fierce, but I can still win because I'm determined, and let's be honest, like, I don't lose. <laughs> my name is Jacques. I'm from New York. I'm a fitness expert, and I like to cook with my shirt off. I'm just salivating right now. I pretty much cook 90% of the time with my shirt off. Having a nice cupcake, to you, you place your little crab meat right in between there. I believe in multitasking. So it's really important to work out while you're cooking. You have 20 minutes to raid the kitchen and use whatever you can find to make us a delicious snack. Luckily, I hooked you up with some sensual ingredients to help you out. A jar of cherries, smoked salmon, whipped cream, canned oysters, plus whatever leftovers you can find hanging out in your kitchens. Put 20 minutes on the clock. Let's get it, y'all! The first thing that I'm seeing is cinnamon rolls, and I'm like, oh, thank God, something that I can bake. I have peanut butter and banana inside a cinnamon roll, and then I'm gonna make like a strawberry with sauce on top, and then some banana whipped cream. I immediately go for oysters, the leftover lobster. I'm gonna use the salmon and the cherries and the biscuit. The smoked salmon, I never found that to be a sexy item. Cause the smell on this, bro, smell my finger. That's disgusting. <laughs> 10 minutes remaining. Oh. Oh. I like her enthusiasm. She broke her whipped cream. Keep going, Danielle. I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, we got a squirter in the kitchen white, three. The creamy stuff went everywhere. <laughs> I cut my finger. I get blood in the bowl. So I gotta get rid of the bowl. And now I can't make my banana whipped cream. I'm definitely freaking out. Okay, Danielle, what are you doing now? I was gonna make banana whipped cream and it got ruined. So now I'm gonna do something with cream cheese and bananas. Do you smell that? That's the seafood, right? I don't right? like it. I think that's I don't the like seafood. That smell, do you? Coming from Jade's kitchen. It's all right. 30 seconds remaining. Your food must be finished and plated in 30 seconds. The cinnamon roll is hot. I have sauces that are cool. I don't want them to melt, so I'm trying to definitely figure out how to get it all on the plate. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up. Pants off. Mmm, just two, all right. <laughs> all right, your boy dodged a bullet. I have a YOLO toast. Does the YOLO come from the fact that we might die when we eat it? <laughs> I cook the spinach with champagne. It is a bona fide way to get you some punana. <laughs> that is so much better than I thought it would be, honestly. <laughs> Uh, honestly, it's, it's really delicious. Thank you. Um, it fit exactly what the challenge was. I loved it. I absolutely loved uh, the garlic toast. Is that what it was? Yes. It was really good. <laughs> Jacques, do you have a name for this masterpiece? Yes, it's the sensual salmon. So first, I, I seared the salmon, and I topped the cherries on top. Here's what I love. <laughs> you. <laughs> I didn't love the cherry and the salmon paired together, but the salmon luckily kind of saved it. What would you say the breakdown of your 20 minutes was? I see a two minute dish. It was, you know, essentially like someone just punched me in the face with like a salt glove. <laughs> hey. Um... Oh. Right, are those ketchup biscuits? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Butter Between the Buns, and it's a cinnamon roll, and inside is peanut butter and banana. Uh, I think that it was really smart that you used the glaze from the buns for the strawberries. 
Uh, that's the kind of creativity that I personally like to see. The banana whipped cream or cream cheese, uh, I think is more successful than it would have been had it been whipped cream. So it is a good thing your <laughs> whipped cream malfunctioned. Feels a little generic to me, but the flavors are all good. The strawberries are really nice. The sauce is nice. Uh, the bread, a little bit off for me. It's like eating like a tasty sponge in a weird way. <laughs> it's like an old Hot Pocket. All right, y'all, the person we are gonna send home is... Jacques. Sorry, Sorry Jacques. Man. You brought a knife to a gunfight, you gotta go. I'm a little flustered, only because I, I did put the, the love behind it. Thank you, I had nothing to do with this. This is gonna be a tough one to get over, Chrissy. She really broke my heart. In this final round, you will each have 25 minutes to cook up your ultimate signature snack. Today's ingredient can be found everywhere, from barbecues to ballparks. Nobody quite knows what's in them, but I know they're delicious. Ladies, today's mystery munchie, hot dogs! Oh <laughs> it's a house of wieners. I know. And ain't nothing good about a hot dog. I'm putting 25 minutes on the clock. Let's get this money, y'all. Yeah. I know that I'm gonna work with cheese because let's be honest, cheese is great on everything. And I immediately think I'm going to make something with breakfast. I have cooked with hot dogs before, but I wanted to do something a little different with it this round and wrap it and make it into like a calzone. All right, Danielle, what are you making? I'm gonna make like this like hot dog and egg thing that I'm gonna put on top of a garlic toast. And I have like a good spread too. That I'm okay, gonna... nice. I have some onions caramelizing, and to give it flavor, I put packets of relish. I make this like cream cheese spread with horseradish and some hot sauce. I'm trying to build up this like concoction of layers of flavor. 10 minutes left, 10 minutes left. Jade's treating this like this is her house. She's walking around. I have a little bit of free time during this round, so. Oh, you need that, you want tequila. Yeah, we want tequila. Nice. Shots, anyone? This is so good. So good. What in the world are you doing? Like, we are cooking. Why are you drinking right now? Is that a lime? <laughs> my biggest concern with my dish is that I have so many different flavors that there's too many, and it's just going to be way too confusing. 30 seconds remaining. Your dishes must be finished and plated. I don't even have a plate yet that I was going to pick, so I'm trying to find a plate. The presentation is huge. Oh, that looks good. I knew I believed in you for a reason, Jade. You did. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Danielle, let's see what you got. It's called hot sex on toast. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> boy. This is kind of like the ultimate drunchy when you miss the street dog after the club. The cream cheese with horseradish and hot sauce as a spread. Then I did like hot mustard and some potato chips on top. I'm not gonna lie to you, for as many sauces as you named, uh, I didn't taste any of them. It honestly tastes like eggs, onions, mm -hmm. hot dogs. I love the horseradish, and I do taste it. I do taste everything she spread onto the toast. There's nothing in this dish I can hate on, honestly. For someone who just hates hot dogs, like, so much that you could drizzle my hatred for them over waffles, like, uh, I did, they didn't repulse me, which is impressive. Thank you. All right, Jade, let's see what you got. This is my horn calzone. It's good for, like, late-night stamina, you know? Oh. Stamina. I took some peach juice to try to, like, dilute the barbecue sauce. What's on your mind, honey? I like the sweetness of your sauce inside. You probably could have made a little more sauce and add a little more hot dogs and a little more onion and just, like, kind of stuffed that thing so it was, like, a true calzone. Biscuits are kind of hard, but then I dipped it, and I thought the sauce was phenomenal. It gave it a really nice flavor. I thought it was really good. Thank right? you. This idea, even if executed perfectly, like, I don't know how good it can be. You know what I mean? Like, the, the ceiling for this dish is, is rather low, I think, just based on how simple it is. I do like that you didn't make a biscuit. Today, the snack off champion is... Danielle. Congratulations, Daniel!